With Star Trek Discovery Season 3 fast approaching, we finally get some more news about new characters joining the show. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. Yes, we're super excited for the return of Star Trek Discovery later this year on October 15th on CBS All Access. That's when Season 3 is going to air in the United States. There's still no details about when the international distribution of the Discovery will take place just yet. However, we presume Netflix still hold the rights. But anyway, you don't hear about that. We'll update you more on that later. Just a heads up, if you are new around it, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from Trek Central. We'll be covering the run-up to Discovery in great detail, including discussing some lore points, as well as giving you episode reviews as soon as the episodes drop. Okay, let's talk about our new characters in the Trek family. Today's Star Trek Discovery's Season 3 will introduce the first non-binary and transgender regular characters into the history of the Star Trek franchise. This of course continues on with Star Trek's legacy to expand on the wide horizons of inclusion and diversity which the franchise has emerged since the original series all the way back in the 1960s. The non-binary character, Adira, or Adria as I keep accidentally pronouncing it, is played by Blue Del Barreau, with this fit being Blue's first official role after coming out of drama school in the UK. Late last year we saw a few pictures of David Dalajala, who will also be coming into season 3 as Cleveland Book Booker, with Blue, Noelle Clark, and Tom Hooper, who were filming in Toronto at the time of Star Trek Discovery Season 3's production. You can see that image on screen right now. The news outlet Glad sat down with Blue Del Barreau to talk about them with the role. As they explain, Adria is a wonderful complex character, mainly because of this duality they have within them. They're astonishingly intelligent and yet they're still a kid. They experience their emotions at a heightened level, like most teenagers do. That's what makes them so fun to play. I like to describe them as cerebrally brilliant and emotionally a puppy. They're an introvert, but they still keep a few people close to their chest, which I definitely resonate with. I don't want to say too much and get in trouble, but all in all, Adria is a uniquely strange and beautiful character. They go on to say, when we meet Adira, they're suffering from memory loss. They remember nothing from the past and very little about themselves. They know they're non-binary, of course, but coming into Discovery, they're cautious about sharing that information with anyone. They're a private person, so they aren't going to divulge a lot about themselves to a ship full of strangers. It's not until Adira has found a place of comfort with Stamets and Kolber that they feel they can talk about who they are. Blue talks about their coming out stories being non-binary, mirroring that of Adira's on the show as just coming out as non-binary to the people in their life. The transgender character called Grey, who is also a Trill, played by the trans actor Ian Alexander, who is more well known for their roles in The OA and of course The Last of Us Part 2. Whether Grey is a joint Trill or not will be interesting. We have seen in the Discovery Season 3 trailer a figure which we previously believed Adira in the symbiote pools on Trill, but may have actually been Grey all along. We can now look at that trailer in greater detail, as we will be doing on the run up to Star Trek Discovery Season 3. Not much is said about Grey compared to that of Adira, however we hope to learn more about these characters as we warp on ahead to the release of Star Trek Discovery Season 3. As mentioned, Star Trek Discovery Season 3 will air on October 15th on CBS All Access in the United States. Again, no word on a Netflix deal just yet, however we presume Netflix still hold it, so uh, keep that in mind. Of course, we've got lots of things to look forward to, Ian Alexander joining the cast as a Trill, you know, we're going to be returning to Trill's homeworld this season, hopefully, and we can't wait to check out that, as the last time we was on Trill was quite a while ago, and I'm going to see if some of you in the viewers and comments can remind me when the last time we was on Trill. I remember, but do you? Don't forget, the Trills as a species have always brought some very, you know, variety and also perspectives on gender as a whole. You know, as a member of a joined race, they experience lives both as male and female throughout their long legacies. So hopefully Ian Alexander's character will also bring his own point of view to the legacy of the chill species that we know so far. Don't forget, Star Trek Discovery Season 3 also takes place in the far distant future of the 32nd century. So it's going to be interesting to see how the chill society has changed since we last saw them. Rounding off this video, there's of course some exciting news to look forward to. We don't know just yet how frequently each new character will appear in the show, but hopefully they become some firm regular characters and I look forward to seeing them joining our main crew. I'm especially interested in the dynamic between Adira and Stamets and obviously Dr. Kolber. Those are very two unique characters to Star Trek Discovery who have both been through quite a lot. Once again, Star Trek is doing really well with its idea of representation, inclusion and diversity that the show has promoted since the original series in the 1960s. Starting on Sunday the 18th of October and every following Sunday at 9pm BST, we'll be looking at the latest episodes of Star Discovery and talking about it on our weekly live stream series. Don't forget to tune in and watch that, that's every Sunday at 9pm BST. Of course, if you're also looking to keep up to date with the latest Star Trek news and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Trek universe, or join our community Discord server to chat with like-minded Trekkies about the shows you love. 
All right, that's everything for today. Thank you for watching. I've been Captain Jack here on Trek Central, and don't forget, we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends.